top of the hour and my brother Teddy Campbell is in the building. Yeah, no. For those of you who don't know, he is a stellar award winner, singer, drummer, musical director for many people uh, such as Christina Aguilera and Britney Spears. He played on American Idol for nine seasons, four years on Jay Leno's Tonight Show, played for Frankie Beverly, the Backstreet Boys, you name it. He's married to my sister Tina. I'm sure that many of you saw um, I think it was season five of the Mary Mary show um, in 2013 where infidelity rocked the core of the family. It's yeah. all on you, Teddy. Yeah, I mean, that's, I, I think, you know, we we don't really have a great understanding of why things like that happen, mm -hmm. uh, especially from a, a woman's perspective. Yeah. You know, it's, it's hard to understand, like, well, how, do you, how could you do that? How could you do yeah. that? I mean, there are various reasons yes. one of the main reasons I, I for me which i had to understand because i had to go through this well what happened why why did i why did i do this yeah. and you know what you know it, it rocked my family but why did i do this yeah. yesterday i was thinking about this and god said to me he said Se sex was never meant to be experienced before marriage because it's too powerful of a force to be known outside of a godly covenant yes that is a huge statement it's huge. it was never meant to happen before you got married it's too powerful and once you experience it without the help of the holy spirit you start filtering all your emotions through it Everything. all of them when you're happy Mm -hmm. When you sad, when yes. you hurt, yeah. If that's how you deal with your emotions, especially if you're young, and what happened with me is I was six years old. For I mean, six in sixth grade. I'm sorry, the first mm -hmm. time I had sex. Wow. So as a kid, I filtered everything through it, yeah. everything. So when loneliness showed up in my marriage, I went back to the old Ted. Wow. That's exactly how it happened. So you have to understand the the triggers and the reasons why. And God is so strategic the way He sets up how he wants things to go mm -hmm. because he knows how powerful that force is. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? It's only meant to be experienced with him in the middle of it. Yeah. Let me ask you this. <laughs> what were some of the lies the enemy told you to keep you trapped? Well, fear was the biggest one mm -hmm. for me. Fear was the biggest one. Fear of how, fear of, fear of not knowing how to be a man, mm -hmm. uh, fear of knowing that I could be exposed mm -hmm. trying to figure this manhood thing out. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, fear of, uh, my kids yeah. turning out like me. Wow. You know what I mean? Uh, a lot of fear. A lot of fear that my wife wouldn't understand yeah. if I told her the issues and problems I was having. Because when, when, when me and Tina started dating, she didn't know that much about me. I hid that part from her. Because I knew mm -hmm. if she knew that about me, it would be a deal breaker. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. I think that women need to understand, and particularly with men who have already had sex, yeah. that there is going to be a struggle. Yes. And if you decide yes. to jump in this, if you decide to jump in this relationship, yes. that is something that you're going to have to, you're going to have to tighten up and yeah. be together on. Like, I don't it's know, a, a spirit you have to break, really. You got to break, the, you got to break the spirit, but then if you're, if you're in, if you're in this process of, like, say for instance, we say habits. Yeah. You can't break a habit. You have to replace the habit with a That's better true. one. Yes. You can't break it. People always, I'm trying to break this habit of smoking. If you hear, if you hear people, you see people uh, break a habit of smoking, they end up on them e-cigs. Right. They're just smoking the heck out of them. Because mm -hmm. they, they just replaced the habit. Yeah. So ultimately, if this is a habit of you that you've, that you've had, a habitual thing that you've had yes. before you got married, you have to replace it. Absolutely. And we, he, we need to be in the same agreement. We need mm -hmm. to say, listen, all right, this is what we're going to do. You've been doing this, but now you don't have to do that no more. Yeah. Whatever you need, I'm here. Well, I'm here right. for you. Right. If there's a if there's a problem or a situation you need to talk to me about, you feel isolated, you mm -hmm. feel fear, you feel like you got some fear going on, yeah. you feel a little discouraged or whatever it is that make that may make you want to do that. Yeah. I I'm here for you, yeah. and that's I sh I think that should be the perspective of a woman instead of getting mad. Mm -hmm. You know, like this is. Why you do, yeah. you know what I mean? And I think a lot of women start out with the you bet not. You bet not. So you bet not. If you do this, I'll leave. So you have immediately put him in the position of she will not understand well, that's what, what I'm trying to me. deal with. Right. That's what so it, 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 it really goes to communication, yeah. being able to admit, admit that. And have those conversations before you get married. Um, I, I like Way to think of it before. like this. <laughs> a lot of us have a lot of sexual inventory, yeah. whether that is physical, physical intimacy with somebody, yeah. movies, music, ideals, 
thoughts, desires, you know what I mean, the things that you have, yep. and you take that into your marriage. Well, if you haven't had those conversations, and not just how you're going to blaze your partner, but real in-depth yeah. conversations about what you need, you will be uninformed. A friend of mine told me his wife, he was having some issues at, at, at his job. A girl was coming up to him and, 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 and hitting on him and all this kind of stuff, and he started liking the attention. Right. He told his wife that he started, this girl was coming mm -hmm. up to him, mm -hmm. hitting on him at work, and he started liking the attention. Yeah. She was like, she got mad for a minute. She right. she looked like she looked around like, okay. Then she told him, she said, okay, well, then we got a problem. He was like, okay. She said, because if she's doing that, it's something I'm, I'm not, not doing. Yeah, you need more. So if, if, if you're having this issue at work because this woman is attractive or whatever, she's coming on to you, I'm not doing what I'm supposed to be doing. You tell me what you need from me, right. and we're going to fix this. When you say we got a problem because you yeah. won now, right. every, I'm t listen, you don't marry a person, you marry a history. So you got to Ooh. deal with everything in their history. Ooh, their history good. becomes your present. Yes. So wow. you got to deal with it. Yeah. And you deal with it through the word of God. You deal Period. with it through going to God. What I love about the prayer um, in Tina's book, I Need a Day to Pray, that you guys pray together. You guys rebuke all past sexual everything. everything everything you lay it all before the lord together and declare that you're healed hold my body and soul and i'm telling you guys when you experience teddy and tina you will experience a new couple that that is new to me that i'm so honored to experience they've been an encouragement and an influence really on all the marriages in yeah. the family you've caused us all to reevaluate and to have conversations hard conversations that we had not had before praying together in a different way you know seeking god in a different way and it's just amazing i'm so honored to have you here um listen y'all it's not over stick with us it's going to get better and better it's oh, 13 yeah. minutes past the top of the hour my brother-in-law teddy campbell being honest raw and real listen this is what it takes to be delivered and to really live a life that god can be glorified in if you give it to god he can handle it don't hold it don't be ashamed of it sin is sin he can jesus died on the cross for every ounce of it there is not one that's worse than the uh, than anything else his blood covers it all praise the lord 